Our last tutorial covered state changes. This tutorial will talk about the energy that's needed to make things change state. You can check this out in section 8-3 of the blue textbook. Let's follow this substance as it goes through state changes. Let's assume we're adding energy in the form of heat. As we go from negative 40 degrees Celsius up to zero degrees Celsius, this substance is a solid the whole way. At zero degrees, the substance begins to melt. It changes from a solid to a liquid. Notice that during this period, the temperature doesn't get any higher. It stays the same. This will be true until all of the solid particles are completely gone. The first leg of the graph, there's kinetic energy. As the temperature goes up, the particles speed up. On the second leg of the graph, there's potential energy. The particles aren't speeding up, they're changing position. These particles are starting to move faster and faster, so they're gaining kinetic energy. However, at some point, they'll have so much kinetic energy that they're actually going to start storing some of it. This will be potential energy. Where is it stored? It's stored in the stretched bond between the particles. This diagram is called a heating curve. Every time the graph goes up, you have kinetic energy. The temperature goes up, the particles speed up. Whenever you have a flat part of the graph, you're storing up potential energy as the particles change position. The temperature will remain the same whenever this is happening. To sum up, kinetic energy happens on the slopes. It means temperature is increasing and the particles are speeding up. PE happens on the flat portions of the graph. It means there's a constant temperature and the particles are changing position. Make sure you study for your quiz. Wee, random panda.